hours later, here is the trailer. Here is the manual, or so I thought it was. Due to the lack of instructions, I basically had to use my knowledge of how a truck, a heavy hauler truck suspension works. Extra screws, I'm not sure if this is the screws for the actual truck that's supplied with the kit. But I'm left with all these spare screws, I'm guessing, in case this start to fall apart. So here's the trailer as is without any support. Right. The quality of the plastic, the metals and the rubber is fairly okay, I cannot complain. Moving on to what I was talking about with the, the assembly, okay. So right now this trailer frame is actually held on to the bed by one screw which is located right here. Now if you look closer in that screw, it's completely stripped. The screws on this is quite fragile and I do not recommend using the power tool. Kitch right here is on backwards as opposed to this one. That's why I cannot get this linked to the back here. Why is that you may ask? That's because the, there was no manual supplied in the kit. I cannot remove this part here to change it around because like I said the screws are quite flimsy and the head is completely torn apart. Uh, it does have a fair good bounce. Uh, flex it has a lot of flex. Simulate an uneven terrain for you to see the suspension movement of the trailer. So let's add some lift and let's get going. All right. So here you have some some form of flex going on there nothing too crazy I will be posting following videos of this so you can actually see it out on the trail and that wraps up the unboxing and setup of the WPL 114 scale military truck trailer if you have any comments feel free to comment below if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see future videos please subscribe Peace.